In May, Coinbase told their users that if they go bankrupt, your crypto can be long past. However, why would you warn your users about a potential bankruptcy if you're not longer worried about a bankruptcy? Well, just a pair weeks after that, the crypto exchange Celsius froze withdrawals because they didn't have the cash to maintain paying you your crypto. So billions of dollars of crypto essentially got locked up of crypto essentially got locked up. Then nearly like Domino's Binance at once throws withdrawals of Bitcoin, but luckily they opened that up. Just a few hours later, but then CoinFlex also froze the withdrawals of their cryptocurrency, and then FinBlox froze your cryptocurrency, and then Voyager froze in cryptocurrency, and then things certainly were given terrible because Voyager was the first to declare bankruptcy which means that basically your cryptocurrency is long past, and then to top it all off Celsius. Got sued because people claimed that it was a fraud and a pyramid scheme. Is this the end for crypto? Well, you could kind of break it down with this flow chart, because in case you don't consider in cryptocurrency, you do not accept as true with that crypto has value. You don't believe in the future of crypto, then the solution is Simple stay away from crypto, don't touch crypto, don't worry about crypto because you don't believe it. However, if you accept as true within the price that cryptocurrency provides, if you believe in the blockchain technology, if you accept as true with there's a use case for crypto now or in the future, well, then this can create opportunity for you. However, you have to apprehend the difference between cryptocurrency and the crypto exchanges. I've been talking about this for a long time now, but I'm more worried about the crypto exchanges than I am the actual future of cryptocurrency as a whole, because the crypto exchanges are an entire company. They're tech companies that were fueled through this tech growth bubble that we noticed in 2020 and 2021, and many of them relied on the charge of crypto to go out and raise more money so in crypto. Prices fall and many of these companies' idea the crypto costs would never fall, but if crypto prices fall then the health of these crypto exchanges would be in jeopardy and that is exactly what we're seeing appear now, that's why so many exchanges or many exchanges are strolling out of money. They don't have the ability to fund crypto withdrawals. And some of them know are filing for bankruptcy. And if your crypto alternate files bankruptcy with their cryptocurrency on it, and that they go under, well, you can pretty much kiss your cryptocurrency goodbye if you are considered one of the people that believe within cryptocurrency and you want to buy cryptocurrency. It truly is excellent, however, you then never want to store your cryptocurrency in a cryptocurrency exchange because the cryptocurrency exchange is a cryptocurrency exchange, it's not a cryptocurrency wallet. So if your crypto is in the hands of the exchange, it's not your crypto, it's inside the hands of the exchange, and it's at the mercy of the exchange, so if something bad happens to the exchange. You could lose your crypto, that's why if you're making an investment in crypto, you want to get a crypto wallet. The best thing that you can do is get a cold wallet, which is a USB drive, where you take a cryptocurrency off the internet you put. It in a USB drive that way now, even if your exchange goes bankrupt, even if it goes underneath despite the fact that they forestall all. Withdrawals you're okay because you have no cryptocurrency on that exchange, you can just open up an account with a special exchange and do your transactions. There so use an exchange as a place to do transactions out of place to hold your cryptocurrency if you don't want to keep your money or cryptocurrency in a USB drive in a cold wallet, at the very least have a hot wallet, that way your cryptocurrency is not in the hands of an exchange now if you are looking for amazing. Cryptocurrency change specifically in this marketplace. You may take a look at out our sponsor FTXSI like FTXS because for one they make dollar cost averaging cryptocurrency super 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 simple. I buy cryptocurrency every day so I buy Bitcoin, Ethereum and a couple of the other smaller coins every day and I do. That through a dollar cost average system and FTXS makes it amazing easy. Because if you want to buy Bitcoin, you can just pick the frequency you need to purchase weekly. You want to buy it each day. You want to buy every two weeks. You want to buy once a month. You can enter in the frequency and then you can buy cryptocurrency on your own agenda. And the fees on FTXS are so much lower then pretty much every different primary brokerage out there so greater of your money can go to actually buy new crypto instead of just making your brokerage richer. And if we speak about what is taking place in the surroundings right now, FTX is actually the agency that's been working to support the other 
Exchanges out there like FTX has bought a big chunk of Robinhood, they made an offer to buy BlockFi, they even gave a huge line of credit to BlockFi, and right now on FTX you can trade crypto. You can trade NFTS and pretty quickly. You'll be able to trade stocks right off in their app and right now, because you are a minority mindset fan they will additionally come up with 20 well worth of crypto for free when you trade 150 worth of crypto on their platform when you enter in my referral code minority, but you furthermore may have to use my link down in the description below, so if you click on that link enter inside the referral code minority and you also are eligible to win the free cryptocurrency, so if you want to study more and start trading with FTX, I will put my goal isn't always to let you know to agree with in crypto, or to now not believe in crypto. My goal is for you to make a selection that way you can make smarter decisions with your money due to the fact if you believe in cryptocurrency well when crypto prices crash, because people are worried about dropping the crypto because they failed to understand how cryptocurrency worked or how exchanges work that causes fear it. Reasons panic, it causes people to sell the crypto, it causes more panic which reasons more people to sell the crypto, and that can create a buying opportunity, however you have to believe in the value that cryptocurrency has and you have to believe in the long time value now of course, it is speculative, it is unstable cryptocurrency, not like real estate, unlike stocks, unlike organizations, has not proven the take a look at of time, so cryptocurrency is much more speculative however, if it does. Work it can create a high quality buying opportunity for you it's high risk high potential reward but there also has to be some justification for the belief which you have with cryptocurrency because if you just believe in the price of crypto because you hope that it's gonna make the regular person rich well that doesn't actually have any real use or value or reason for your belief because if you just believe that hey it is a coin with a dog on it, or it's a coin with a cat on it, and I own some of it, so I believe in it, because I want to get rich with it, there's no real use there for me, I see the cost with crypto. Because I use cryptocurrency, I have contractors that work for me and my companies, some of them live overseas, and it's difficult for me to send them cash. They don't allow PayPal in their countries, the other softwares like TransferWise are very tough to use and I can send them a wire, but then I have to go to the bank or have to call up the bank, I have to pay the wire fees, it's a long process, it's an expensive process, but the alternative is I'm able to. Just go to a cryptocurrency, a stable coin, send them some crypto that takes me like 15 seconds and it cost me a tenth if not a fifteenth or twentieth of what it would cost me if I had to go and actually wire the money so I pay people some contractors that I've employed via cryptocurrency and I see how it has reduced the friction, how it's reduced the time and has also reduced the fees by sending money through cryptocurrency. The second aspect that I'm excited about for cryptocurrency is not just on the currency side but extra on the technology side because while cryptocurrency started off as a way to do transactions, it's more evolving into a software program, a technology, the blockchain, it's what can. You do with this technology that you can't do with the current state of the internet, and this is the technology that I'm without a doubt enthusiastic about due to the fact you can do things like smart contracts, which meaning it is a digital contract where if the other party of your contract does what they're supposed to do, they automatically acquire the other end of the contract, or if they don't do the end of the agreement, they don't receive the other end of the agreement, so you can do a lot of technology cool things with cryptocurrency that you can't do with a lot of the opposite technologies out there so the idea with the blockchain is they can revolutionize the way that we use the internet now of course it is risky that's why you have to understand how cryptocurrency performs a detail to your portfolio because there's a chance that Something else comes and wipes away cryptocurrency, and so you must remember that hey, it is speculative, it is risky, so how does it play a part in your portfolio if you believe in it now? I believe in cryptocurrency, but it is not my entire portfolio, it is not the largest investment in my portfolio, it's a small piece of my portfolio, I invest in five things, I invest my cash in my own business and startups, so companies like market briefs and the startups that I invest in. I invest in real estate, physical real estate, condominium properties. I invest in stocks and then when put money into cryptocurrency, after which I invest in physical gold. These are my largest investments in this order business, my business startups, real estate stocks. 
crypto, and then physical gold, and then even within the cryptocurrency, I'm not longer investing in all the meme coins and all those alternatives smaller coins, I'm investing in the larger Bitcoin Ethereum and a couple of the smaller coins but, again the matters that I believe, actually have used that I believe will have long-term value if the worst case happens and all of cryptocurrency goes to zero properly i'm not going to be affected that awful because it's a smaller piece of my portfolio it's not the largest piece of my portfolio or the second largest or the third largest it's a smaller piece of my portfolio because it's on the speculative side however if it does work out i will still get my piece of the upside because i think it's interesting i like the upside i'm extra of a fundamental investor with my bigger investments and like to have some fun with more of my speculative investments as a speculative investment you now have to remember that cryptocurrency is going to be hit especially hard when you see more volatility when you see more hurt in the economy when you see greater hurt in the markets because it's the most speculative and so when things go wrong and people panic and those need a more safer investment the primary thing that they sell are the speculative Investments the things that are not producing cash flow the things are that are not sure bets, and so that's why you see cryptocurrency get hit specifically difficult. And this is where now once more going back to what I said in the beginning of this video, let's tie it all together. You have to start by understanding where you lie if you don't accept as true in crypto, do not fear about it, don't touch it, don't buy it, you shouldn't be even concerned about what's going on with cryptocurrency, but in case you trust in it and you need to be.